Ndakushimira <laughs> Tuleimano tukwa tegura, tulafuga na kutushua kutukuri imano atashaka So, tuteguri imano <laughs> Wow Ive apasha kuifungura Papa ndajira mkuchira ho so congratulations my brother Tragukunda kandi happy birthday Ichinu chambaba je Nuko burja na vasize muri office Nje kuja kurikoti nga ka video Nje ziyo karanga Nojuji mnyaka mirongi tatu Mnyaka mirongi tatu Najaga ninya kubivu gaha No hamge na hamge Kweri mamfu za kazi So lero aliko Now kameo mirongi tatu na aji Nuko wajenda This is so emotional. Hallelujah. 
ko tujya kugira ibihe byiza niba utanyiteguye tanyo tegura umutima wawe ubwire imana ngo naje kandi ashaka kumora oh haleluya rero ka dukomera amashyi menshi abakozi b'imana baje ndibatindiye <laughs> Ndiye <laughs> amugaragaje urukundo imana ibaho umugisha mwinshi cyane turabakunda cyane cyane so after the sale ejo nayindi kubwira abantu bo kwicacha ati ejo na muntu dushaka mu rugo umunsi wange nawe anyways uh, sheri nashaka kwa ko ngukunda cyane cyane and i'm very excited yo kureba ibintu imana igiye kugukoresha muri iki gihe winjiyemo ndabiskari bintu bikomeye tumaze imyaka ngiye kugera ku 10 cyari 9 tuziranye ikintu gitangaje ahantu hambere twamenye twamenye nyanga no wonzi ko niga kano bazaga muri evangelisation ku ishuri so rero ndashimana kuko umuntu twamenyanye waramushimira imana ndagukunda cyane uretse kuba uri no mugabo mwiza uri umubyeyi mwiza umaze imyo myaka yose uri umubyeyi wange bumoka tumenyana nako nyanzi gusoma ijambo ry'Imana ndabyuka twarasomaga mwumva bibaye poet mwita bivamo ono ho ndabyuka mushira exercice yo kuvuga ngo ngomba kujya nsoma igitabo kimwe cyo muri bible akora same nka kuzanira ikanera pressure kugira ngo nabone naburi ikintu muzanira imbere ariko byanyubatse mu gukunda ijambo ry'Imana no gushaka kumenya Imana ku giti cyanjye kugeza uyu munsi aho ngeze ndagushimira kuri umubyeyi mwiza cyane ndagushimira kuri umugabo mwiza uri umuvyeyi mwiza w'umwana wacu turagukunda cyane cyane nago wavuga umuntu mu bana buri munsi ngo muvuge muri uyu minota mike bishoboke ariko kimwe cyo nzi nuko muhamiriza kuri umuntu w'Imana ufite umutima ukunda Imana cyane ufite umutima ukunda abantu ni we muntu nzi ufite n'ishuti zo muri primaire mwa mukivuga na urabavugisha umuntu wese ukuganye abari free kugarwisanzuraho biroroshye ko umaking inshuti bigaragaza umutima ufite ufite umutima wa gutse wo gukunda imana no muri mu wayo nashidikanye nuko ziko imana iza kwesha ibyo twaye haleluya so rero munda kubikubwira bisere abakozi b'imana benshi benshi cyane dukunda bari bari very successful bitibino bafite record zikomeye ako kuri isi ne mukozi w'Imana wa mbere kuri I honor you as a great you ah urabizi ko ninge mukana wa mbere ufite ah ndagukunda cyane na yo ndabizi ko ndabyibuka tujya kubana cyo kimwe nari nishimye nuko mwana wanje azakora afite umuntu na gakeneye ntwari yo hanze afite yo babana azakurira ho areberaho so ndagukunda cyane uri ntwari abantu benshi babintwari batagihari ariko uri ntwari hari uko abantu benshi bavuze ku myaka yawe umaze gukora ibintu bikomeye cyane so i honor you i love you so much that's it nagize emotion actually nyuma kubika nanoje Ah no ba hamavuta ya ari kuzima bwawe ndagukunda cyane cyane ah natinze ndashimira abantu bose bose ba bitanze muri iki gikorwa imani ibaho umugisha mwinshi cyane 
juste ni ni sign no ya kukwela koko we recognize you uh, we love you and we honor you abantu shumbye uyoboye kandi muri mukora na gari ubusa uri kuza abantu nako bazakubera abagabo mu mesi iri imbere ndashika ko ubajije buri muntu wese umukozi w'Imana successful ifuza no kubona abantu yigishije bashira mu bikorwa ibyo yigishije kandi ndabona uri kuturemamo ingabo zo mu gihe cy'anyuma zigiye gukora ibintu bitangaje cyane aho umusaruro wa utazapfubuse wa buhari wa utagihari bizakomeza ndagushimira ko utatwizanye wo tuzanye ku mana kandi na muntu waje imbere y'Imana gasubire uko yarameze so murakoze cyane nabatindiye ndagukunda cyane Seriously, this is so emotional. Ukuri urumva ko bwa mbere bahura nako bare babizi ko bimizamera gutya na wa We want we prepare this to tell you that we love you and we honor you. Nihangane izikeke zirabagera ho mwese. Concentrate. Hallelujah. Turashimana kubwo uyu munsi ah mubyeyi wacu turamukunda cyane kandi turamwubaha ciye bugufi imbere ya mavuta ya papa ndagukunda kandi ibi ngiye bigaragaza urukundo bano bantu bose bicanga ha bagukunda ndagira ngo nshimire mami wacu kukwitaho ibihe byose kandi ko yatwemereye kuno munsi tukora papa turagukunda cyane so ndashimira abantu bo mwese mwese mbikuye ku mutima mwadufashije kugira ngo tugere kuri kino gikorwa se ubwo mugiye kurya keke muraza kubyumvara ariko nako zirimo zirajya mu matwi ndashimira abantu bose badufashije gutegura kino gikorwa kugira ngo tukigereho ah uh, papa iki gikorwa twakiteguye nka spirit revival temple dufatanyije na uh, ego prayer network uh, twifatanyije kugira ngo umunsi wawe wejo uh, uzabe umunsi udasanzwe kandi twikonekte ku gihe ugiye kwinjiramo ni kenshi cyane watubwiye ko sezo ugiye kwinjiramo ari se zidasanzwe ariko natwe bitubikoze kugira ngo we connect the season so ni muri ubwo buryo ah twa twa gerageje uje kigose dutegura imano ah tre imano twategura turavuga nako dushaka kugura imana dashaka so dutegura iyi imano wow Ivi afasha kuyifungura Amazing Papa <coughs> this is a gift for you Abana bawe baguteguriye both Spirit Revival Temple ndetse na Ego Prayer Network Na ndasaba papa na mami bayigera imbere akari uko ntago mwe yasiga ndi bose numwe kiraho nk'abana bawe twategeye twatekereje kuri ariko garakomeye cyane ngo gakumvuga ibintu birimo harimo amafaranga ibihumbi 1400 for the ministry nkuko wumva ko umutima the whole your heart it is on the ministry we prepare this for you kandi twabikoze kuko ari byo bino tubwiye ko ari byo wumva wifuza kandi komera amashe ko bene da umufiti shari kwe nagari byo gusa ah twateguye ni ndanvelope as i told you we need to connect to the season you want to enter in duteguye no envelope nkituro kugira ngo abantu twese twese muri spirit revival temple na church twikonekte 
kuri season ngiye kwinjiramo ni tuzasigara inyuma Papa ngiye byanye mwa kwishyuzira bicara bigicara Kandi tuakeka this is joyful a joyous moment for you papa and you are ready to connect you are ready for the season you are getting in we will never left behind we will always be with you we will always honor you we will always always be your sons and daughters ah twavuga byinshi kuko washumbye benshi wabaye mu byewe benshi ivya bivuze neza ngo watubereye mu byena ngo watubereye mushumba kuko amungana umushumba arashumba ariko mu byeya rarera waratureze hari byinshi hari byinshi ya testimony nyinshi nyinshi dufite nako twabona umwanya wo kubivuga kugira ngo birangire ariko ndagira ngo dukomere imana amashyi kugwa mu byeyi wacu n'imyaka giye kwinjiramo tukiri umwuko wo kukoma amashyi ndagira ngo dukomere amashyi mu byeyi wacu mama peace nk'umuntu uhora umureberera nawe igira imbere papa mwaka Thank you so much mama. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Ajax aragukunda cyane. Make sure akabantu batatu ubahobere. Umubwire ngo Pastor Jax arakwemera aragukunda. Wow. This is so emotional. God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Ngaho munyemere twese duhuza ibiganza dukomera Imana amashi menshi. No nari vuze dukomere Yesu amashi menshi. Tumuvugiriza imuntu. Hejo ya byose niwe. Mare brada bashanta. Wow. Anyway. Deka na ngiye gutanga mwe mu mategeko hano ari bintu nshaka ko bahindura ariko kambere mbe mbaye umwana wavutse ho gatoya tuvuge ngo amen mwese ndabashimye imani ba umugisha kwitabira mukaza imani ba umugisha ah no mugisha udasanzwe ndabakiriye mwese imani ba umugisha ah ah wow nabaye nabaye too much emotional kuvuga ndumva biri kongora imana iba umugisha reka nsaba abantu twese twicare dutuze protocole mwese mwicare media imana iba umugisha kuga kazi keza muri gukora online church we thank you so much abadukurikiye god bless you nojuje imyaka 30 imyaka 30 uh ajyaga ntinya kubivuga ahantu hamwe na hamwe kwera impamvu za kazi uh so rero ariko now kame mu mirongo itatu nagiye nuko bagenda nuko ah rero cyari ni kintu numvaga imyaka mirongo itatu isobanura byinshi kubanya mwuka murabyumva muri bibiliya bintu bijye bitandukanye ariko numugisha udasanzwe kuba imana yarandinze imyaka naciye muri byinshi muri byinshi ibibi byinshi ibyiza byinshi ariko hashimwe Yesu kimpagaritse kandi ndacyahagaze ndacyahagaze kandi mpagaze bwuma kabisa ndameze nti so rero ndazi neza ko ubu nibwo tutangiye umurimo kandi mwagize neza numugisha udasanzwe kugira abantu bagukunda baguselebratinga abantu bafata ama videos yabo bagateking a time mwese imana ibaho umugisha kandi ndabizeza ko ntago muzigera mwicuza kuza hano muri itorero ntago muzicuza second this generation ndabizi neza ko irahiriwe cyane kuba nyirimo i know so ndabashimye mwe spirit revival temple shimiye igos prayer network my goodness ndabizi bari go following ngo bantu batazi igos prayer network ni ministry dukorana mu uh, diaspora so mari ba umugisha prova prayer network nababonye god bless you nayo ni ministry ya diaspora ikiri muri canada na us indeed base cyane muri europe so guys ndabakunda mu kanya sada tuturahura god bless you nakoze ko uri support uko nayibasabye 
bampaye gift ya gitari nari maze iminsi nshaka gitari eh nari maze iminsi nshaka gitari nda gucuranga ababizi nda kuririmba so ubu none ngiye gutangira practice dani madama ajya kurekura zaza ngura nta kibazo ariko okay mari ba umugisha kubwo inari verseri kudutegura igiterane dufite uko mubibona turi muri chance hari ibintu bitaratungana hano twimutsa hano twakoraga so hari ibintu dukeneye kwishyira mu muri eglise so that's why ba mbaye ano ma envelope hari yo ba contributing ze hari ni turo ariko murabizi ko mutima wanje ni ministry that's why is envelope zose ni bari banje nenda zitanga are kasabe mama vivian ni we coordinateur w'igiterane azafata iza envelope bagure ibyuma bagure everything kujya muri boy imana bigende neza god bless you aha so ndazi neza ko dukeneye mo ibyuma bimwe byo kongera hari intebe zindi dushaka kugura ntoya murabona ko nana asa nkari hato ariko batubwiye ko nidushyiramo intebe ntoya at least abantu nka magana ne bashobora kuba bajyamo sinegereza ko niyo process cyane dushaka gukora rero imana iba mu mugisha ndazi neza ko ari umugisha nzabashima neza ubu ndumva ndi too much emotional ndibaza kwa gatatu turi kumwe ndetse no kucyumweru imana iba mu mugisha munyemere dukomere yesa amashi Sonda bashimiye mwese nshimiye umuryango wanje nshimiye my wife eh so nzahora mbivuga nako ari kintu cyo gukidisha iyo ubonye umudamu gu supportinga gu pushinga kababwiza ukuri kuba umugore w'umukozi w'Imana ntaga ari kintu cyoroshye ntaga ari kintu cyoroshye tumaze imisi dutaha amajoro nibwo buzima amajoro arabyihanganira so akampushinga akanshyigikira ni mujye mubona ibintu byose bigenda neza ari umuntu ubore biri inyuma so sheri ndagukunda cyane kandi ndabizi neza ko naha turagera i will make you proud one day yeah so ako ngabantu mutari kugira emotion shaho ari abantu tugomba gusengera mu izina rya Yesu Okay so ndamukunda ndamu nakunkunda cyane ufashije byinshi muri ministry kandi kumubona byaramvunye nzabaha makuru munsu eh byaramvunye cyane so rero ikintu cyakugoye ubuzi neza agaciro kacyo so niwe watumye mpinduka kwitwa papa ubu nitwa papa Eliol international so imana gumugisha ndagukunda cyane thank you for supporting and we are starting <laughs> guys you know in the phase ya ministry ndi twinjemo daziko it is very prophetic kandi nimburi mo hano fata ukomeze uko we are going to fly turaje tuguruke mu minsi iri imbere kandi azi neza ko ibyiza biri imbere mu izina rya Yesu so natinze rero reka mbahe amatangazo makeya ubundi tutane kandi ntewe iteka cyane no kuba hano uyu munsi mu buryo budasanzwe ariko nduva nishimye kweri kweri ah shimira imana kugwe uyu mugabo w'imana cyane ndetse bikomeye shimira imana ya tubuje ikaduha kuba inshuti abavandimwe aba abakozi bamwe mu muri mawa data ah shimira imana no kubwanyu nkitorero abayobozi bitorero imana iba umugisha muri abantu beza cyane ndumu member wa spirit revival temple wa online yes i'm telling you i'm telling you chana rwose nkaba uyu munsi nongiye kugirirwa ubuntu budasanzwe bwo guhura n'umukozi w'Imana apostle Neman is a blessing nibwo bwa mbere twahuye na duhujwe na pastor Jackson ariko wari wahura n'umuntu kagira ngo mwari musanzwe muziranye all the years long ninga ninga duhura na pastor Jackson twahuye bwa mbere my friend ntago turi gera dutandukana byafatiyeho ninga ishamba rya hi ya ninako rero byageze kuri ya person name so no mugisha imani ku mugisha it was a pleasure to know you to get connected 
hano mafite ibirindiro bikomeye cyane rero so mushatse mwamfata neza i have my sister here <laughs> yes uh, sister vivian is my sister she's there yes so urumva ko hano mafite ibirindiro rero mushatse mwanyitwaraho neza amen so congratulations my brother turagukunda kandi happy birthday ikintu cyambabaje nuko burya nabasize muri office ngiye kujya kuri recording aka video ngeze yo karanga so byade akunyohera iyo mugusiga muri office aka video kagasanga hano ariko it is okay next year is coming ntago zaducika gusa turagukunda ni inshuti y'umuryango wacu akaba inshuti itorero akaba inshuti yange bwite turamukunda kandi turakunda na kuga Kristo imana ibaho umugisha rero ntago shaka nkundi jambo ry'Imana kurenza ibintu byose kumbwira rero gusuza abantu ijambo ry'Imana rigiye kujyamo ah mba numva ntago ariko munyemere ndekeraho ngaho uvuze uvuze ry'abashumba ntago baryihanganira reka tureke ijambo rivuko sibyo god bless you i love you my brother amen god bless you god bless you yes now we are about to receive a man of fire Reka mwese mbasabe duhagurutse. Hey. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor don't disturb me. Bira mugenzi wangu ntundangaze. Hey, don't disturb me. <laughs> There's some people who know when we are starting preaching they start telling you. Arabani yo dutangiye kubwiriza abantu batangiye kuganira. That showing the shoes is the shoes. Tanje kwereka inkweto. So Amen. Amen. Wow. Something is happening already. Hari ikintu kiri kuba already. By the time we finished preaching, arije dusoza kubwiriza. We be having your testimony already. Tundu turaje gusoza kubwiriza ufite ubuhamya bwawe. Uh, we are in uh, uh, awakening the giant within you turi mu kwezi ko kangura ibihanda biturimo hallelujah amen and uh, I, i am so blessed to come in that season no no mugisha kuza muri bino bihe i want to give you I, i don't know if the next sunday is the same yeah but i want to tell you one thing Uh, so this third week we are now starting not awakening the giant but introducing to you that you are the giant wow ntago tujiye iki cyumwe tujiye kwinjana ntago tujiye kugusobanurira bya kubyutsa igihanda ahubwo tujiye ku kwintro kukubwira ko ari wowe gihanda okay thank you for that tell your neighbor i am a giant gira mugenzi wango ndi gihanda Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, uh before we read some scriptures, I want to to make a, some introduction. Ndashaka gukora about something I want to talk about. Kubyo ashaka kubwirizaho. I want to talk about uh, the opening of your spiritual eye. Ah uh, ndashaka kuvuga kugufunguka ku maso y'umwuka. I would ask the technical team please to give us enough volume. Yeah. God bless you. Amen. Opening of spiritual eye. Ufunguka kwa maso y'umwuka. It is very big deal. Ni kintu kidasanzwe in believers lives. Because you can't discover who you are. Ntago ushobora kumenya uri we using this eye. Urebesheje no maso. This, this eyes of flesh ano maso y'umubiri so when you your eyes of spirit are open ya maso y'umwuka afungutse it is when you understand who you are nibwo musobanukirwa uri we so i want to tell you that god is a spirit ndashaka kubabwira ko imana no mwuka and everything about god is a spirit kandi ibi kintu cyose kerekeye imana no mwuka so it is deceiving yourself when you think that you will know and see god with your physical eyes no kwishuka gukomeye iyo wibwira ko uzabona imana nano maso y'umubiri sometimes we used to lock ourselves in a room rimwe na rimwe twajyaga twikingirana mu cyumba 
and we say we are living here when we see you we want to see you then we leave uvuga ngo ndaza gusoka muri iki cyumba ruko nakubonye mana and you be very alert you want to see an angel somewhere ukatangira gusha nkubona marayika ahantu you want to see some lightning ugasha kubona urumuri kuntu you want to see something uh, that show that god is around and fortunately sometimes we used to live without seeing anything actually you live with the hunger and you wanted to see God why? because we, we have this kind of thinking and setting in our mind that God is going to come in a physical form and then you, you hear some people giving testimony. Then I hear the voice of God. And as, they, as you can hear the voice of someone calling you. They say, then I turned. They give testimony. Then I turn to hear who is calling me. But there is no physical ears that can hear the voice of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So God is a spirit. Tell your neighbor God is a spirit. That's why when Jesus came, he introduced other two places where the operation, spiritual operation must happen. He introduced the place, two places where the spiritual things will happen. He said you will never worship me anymore in this place. You will never worship me in this place. And you will never go to Israel. He said there is two places now. The first one is in the spirit. Second place is in the truth. Mm. Come on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those are two, eight, two places where you can stand and you hear God well and you understand what he's saying. It is in the truth. Another place is in the spirit. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. So, there is no physical things in the spiritual world. That's why the Bible says Flesh and blood will never inherit the kingdom. So you cannot understand the, how, uh, how much and how precious you are when you just use these eyes. Because the Bible says the word of God is the light. And the word of God is the truth. So in the truth is where the light goes on. It goes on. It's just switched off on. When you receive the truth, Jesus said you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Because the truth comes with the light. Because the light is the word of God. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. These eyes Ayamaso. don't see. Tell your neighbor, your eyes don't see. Tell your neighbor, your eyes don't see. You are not blind, but your eyes don't see. What you are not blind, but your eyes don't see. your eyes don't see. What sees? What sees? What sees? What sees? is the light. It sees. It is the light that sees. Your eyes don't see. Go in your room at night and then you switch off the light. You will wonder if you are blind or not. Because you will see nothing. You will start using your hands going. And you have your two eyes. Why? Because it is the light that sees. So when mm. the light goes on, when the light goes on, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. 
then the eyes can see. So you can see as much as the, the truth in your life. As much as the light in your life. Hmm. Hmm. Tell your neighbor. You see far according to the light in your life. Are you Praise the Lord. Amina. So that's why it is very important to talk about the spiritual eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the Bible, people deceive even today themselves according to the physical life of Jesus. Pastor Tom, I'm so honest. God bless you. He's a great guy. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. So people even today deceive themselves because of physical life of Jesus. Because even those that he moved with, he walked with, including Matthew, when Matthew was writing about Jesus, he did something. Even when you bring him here today, he can repent. He can repent and say, Please forgive me. I didn't know. He, he said in Matthew chapter 1 that Abraham begotten, uh, Terah Abraham, Abraham Isaac, Isaac Jacob. And then he came to Joseph and then Mary and then Jesus. Why? Because he was trying to connect Jesus to physical family. But when you understand Jesus well, he has nothing to do with physical things. Theology says that he was a man 100%. But there is no verse in the Bible that says that. They say because he was hungry, because he get tired. Uh, they, they just use that example. But let me show you something. Pastor Peace, can you? Pastor You have a very wonderful son. Let me shock you. That son has nothing to do with you. When they test your DNA and they test your blood, you, there is nothing look like you. Maybe it took some a noise. Maybe ah, a a but when you go inside, in what gives someone identity? There is nothing. That's why when he gets sick, he, you cannot help him. Praise the Lord. So, thank you. When Mary was prophesied, they prophesied about her that he's going to give back to Jesus. Jesus has nothing to do with Mary. Yes, Because when you read in Hebrew chapter 10, verse 5, the Bible says, even the body of Christ was prepared before. It means God took the body. And just put the body in the womb of Mary. The reason why I say that. When a, a, a mother is HIV positive. He gives birth to a child who is a, HIV negative. Why? Because there is no connection with their blood. So, Jesus has no blood of Mary in his body. That's why he became a perfect sacrifice.
sacrifice because he has no connection with men. Praise the Lord. And if Mary didn't get born again, telling you, because when you read in, uh, in Acts chapter 2, when they, they went to the upper room, even Mary was there. Because he, she needed also the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why am I saying this? I'm telling you that everything about God is spiritual. You need to receive the spiritual life. Then when Paul understood Jesus. He met with John. John knew Jesus. But when he wrote the, 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 the gospel, the John chapter 1, it is, it is after he received the revelation. That's why he didn't, he didn't write the same thing as, me, as Matthew. For him, he said, This guy is not from Abraham. He's greater than David. He said, In the beginning, there was word. Praise the Lord. Because John saw Jesus with the spiritual eyes. Actually, let me tell you. John is the man who has the real genesis of the Bible. Johanna knew fit tangible the Jesus the Bible. No need to garagariza. Because in the Genesis, where Moses could reach, he only said that when God created the world, the world was void. Mbere na mbere, how are you going? Is it tarare mungu si ya tariho? That is Moses. That is the revelation of Moses. He said the world was void. Moses where are you going? Is it tarare mungu si ya tariho? But God cannot create something void. Moses could see when the world was void. But John saw even before Moses. He said in the beginning, the word was with God. Praise the Lord. That's, that is the man of who has a spiritual eye that can see. Praise the Lord. So seeing Jesus in the flesh was not enough for them. Even now today, if you see Jesus walking, it cannot help you. That's why he said, it is better I go. That's why he said, it is better I go. Because when I go, it is when something greater is going to come. He even told them, he told them that even today there is something I want to tell you. But you cannot bear them now. So let me go. But he said, when the spirit of the truth comes, when he comes, he will teach you in all things. He will reveal things to you. And say, we take on my things and give to you. We thank God because we are in that generation. Where the spirit of the Lord teaches us things. Even the things that Jesus did not teach us. The Holy Spirit is available. To teach in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So the right vision. Helps you to understand who you are. And you understand God well. In the book of Ephesians. It's going to be our first reading. Uh, chapter 1 verse 15. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 15. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 15. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 15. 
Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter 115 Ito chambero murongo wa 15 Efeso Bible say Bibiri vuga Therefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints Nicho gituma nange maze kumva uburyo mwizera umwami Yesu do not cease to give thanks to, for you making mention of you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and liberation in the knowledge of him. So, so, verse, verse 18 says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know that what is the hope of your calling that are the riches and glory uh, of the glory of his inheritance in the in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believes according to the working of his mighty power that is so Paul is writing to the church of Ephesus and telling them that I have heard about your faith. When it comes about faith in the Lord, I have no problem. You also have the greetings. Praise the Lord. Why? Because you have the faith of Jesus. And he said, I have also heard about your love. You hug each other. And then you wish each other the peace of the Lord. There is no problem about that. You have the faith. You have the love. But when I am praying, there is a prayer I do every night. Paul said, that when I kneel down, I pray that you receive the spirit of wisdom. Verse 18 says that the eyes of your understanding to be enlightened. This is, this is believer. Is not a pagan. Is not someone outside. He's saying to talk the faith of Christ is not enough. The love you have, it's okay. You love each other. It's alright. But there is something deeper. God is saying, I am praying even today. That you receive the spirit of wisdom. And you receive the eye, your eyes of understanding to be enlightened. The Bible says, so that you may know. So that you may know. There is something you cannot know. When your eyes are not yet enlightened. When this light is not yet in your life. You cannot see, you cannot know that thing. That's why sometimes to preach the gospel to people who are blind. So because when you tell them something, they don't see anything. That's why in our churches today, the material things are taking over. Even if we fatigue, we do not turn. We just go with Josh. 
when you talk about something which can be tangible, now we understanding. We even shout. When you talk about marriage, talk pastor, talk about it. Hey, that me. A pastor. When you talk about good job, oh my God, somebody is going to sow a seed immediately. Because those are the things that we have light into. But Paul is saying, there is something deeper. There is something deeper. There is a wisdom. There is the eyes of understanding. He said, I pray every day that that eyes will be enlightened. And the day that the eyes will be enlightened. You will know. Uzamenya. You will know. <laughs> My God. He said some, uh, something that he, he said that you may know what is the hope of your calling. That is, that is the purpose of your life. You cannot understand the purpose of your life until this eyes sees. That's why many of you are doing wrong things. You are doing wrong things in your life. You are in the wrong career. Because your teacher told, told you that you, you, can't, you can't manage mathematics. So please. So please go in history. So you, some of you, you went and learn history, you have too many history. When your spiritual eyes are not seeing, it takes long to discover yourself. So you do everything, you go there and there. At the end of the day, you discover yourself when you are about to go in retirement. So Paul said, come on, the, 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 the faith of Christ is okay. And the love of brethren is alright. But my prayer request is different. There is another eyes that need to be opened. The eyes of the understanding. It is a spiritual eyes. When they are open, the first thing that happened, you know the hope of your calling. You understand where you have to stand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Second. And you will know what is the riches of the glory in the inheritance of saints. It means when these eyes are open, you don't you don't start from zero. Because you understand first the inheritance. Kukowa maze kumenya kufitu muraje. And then you know the hope of your calling. Ichaka viru kamenye mkiri njiru yogu hama gargo kwa. So from that day you are unstoppable. Guheru wa musi yobi ya maze kusoba anuka kuri wawe. Na guburu munu wanjira kukumiru kwa mbuzima. Because you don't go to apply for a job to be rich. Because you go to look for a job when you are rich. Why? Because you start from inheritance. Uh, uh, you don't hear me. When, when, the, when these eyes are open. You don't start from zero. You understand the riches in the inheritance of the saints. And then you understand the hope of your calling. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will never cry again. Because you start from inheritance. 
Some of you say, for me, I started from scratches, from zero. And you want, you want to make us uh, emotional and then, you, then we cry. But the truth is, when you understand this, when the light goes on like this, you understand the riches some of you you're, you're still suffering because you don't know the riches which is in the inheritance of the saints because that is our starting point God wants every believer to start from there. You start from the understanding. The riches which is in the inheritance of the saints. Hallelujah. It is inheritance of the saints. So it means you need to understand also about being saints. Because it is the inheritance of the saints. Before we finish this service, my prayer is that everyone in this room the light of the Lord is going to be on in your life so that you can see. And somebody be ready as I'm preaching, something is happening already. Your eyes are going to open. Some of the things that happen when those eyes are on. When the eyes of flesh are seeing so much, you get interest in the things of the world so much. Even when you go to church, your mind tells you you are going, but it is all about physical life. That's why some of us we have this mindset that when you give is when you are blessed. That's God is in, in the house of the Lord is the is the area of uh, business transaction. That I give 10,000. I give 10,000 I receive 100. Some of you have even wounds. I have given so much. But I am not seeing anything. Because the right way to give. Is when you go to give. With this mindset, I give because he gave me. Praise the Lord. You go to give because he gave you. Some people think that even that small man you have is yours. That's why you think you are going to give so in the kingdom no one owns anything so give because he gave you already so when you give with that kind of spirit God keeps blessing you daily because every time he knows that you understand that everything you have is his. Praise the Lord. Some of you have been in the church for 
people you have in the church five years you are still testing God when the eyes of understanding open you understand how much he loved you you no longer give 10% because you feel shy can I give 10% I give just 10% with how much God has blessed me John said, we love. Why? Because he loved us. So we give because he first gave us. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when these physical eyes are very sharp, it is very difficult to see in the spirit and you get interest in the things of the world so much and it is the reason of the divorce you're seeing outside there these eyes which don't see is that you use to choose a wife that don't see is what you used to choose a husband and you want to live together forever that's why when these spiritual eyes are open there is a difference praise the Lord Hallelujah. what show that your eyes are seen Listen to me. You lose interest in the things of the world. And the things of the world get interest in you. Because when your spiritual eyes are open, you start losing interest from the things of the world. You no longer say that the car you bought 10 million, you, don't, you no longer say that I bought it 15 million. You say that I bought it 15 million. Why? Because you need value from the things you have. And when the spiritual eyes are open, even when you have a car of a hundred million, when they start talk about it, you don't even want to hear them. You have a wonderful car. Uh, please, please. Let's talk about something else. Because you, you, you don't feel comfortable. So, by losing interest, so the things of the world start getting more interesting. The things start getting interest in you. First seek the kingdom of the Lord. And his righteousness. And all other things. I'm going to learn after you. Let me give you two examples. Then I finish. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 4. Philippians. Philippians, yes. Our Philippians verse 4. Chapter 2, verse 4. Philippians chapter 3, uh, 3, verse 4. 3. Paul is saying. When her, his eyes open, this is what he's saying. Over. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh. <laughs> he said, if any other man thinketh that he has well off, he might trust in the flesh. I more. It means in the area of flesh and the physical things, Paul was. Like this. 
Paulo arabahiga akanuka rahari he has a title after titre now he explain what what he has next verse Look at the circumcised on eighth day that was a, 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 a title each chamber mfite titre yuko nachebwe ku mubiri ku munsi wa munana and i am of the stock of israel ndwo mugoko gwa israel cyo ni chakabiri atangiye kubahiga of the tribe of benjamin ndwo mu muryango wa benjamin cyo ni chakatatu niko avuga ati jewe ndwo kwa rubango eh niko praise the lord and then an hebrew of the hebrews ndumu heburayo wa ba heburayo nago mvangiye as touching the law eh, about university eh, <laughs> i am i am i am i am uh, he said i am a pharisee ndi kubya mategeko ndumu pharisee a pharisee was not a, a, a tribe of people it was a title pharisee yo ntaga rubwoko it was a title after learning and studying laws na abantu babanyamategeko baza amategeko y'idini eha next next verse he said concerning zeal kubikishaka persecuting the church narabarutaga mwese narenganya gitore he said touching the righteousness which is in the law kubyo gukiranuka kuza i was blameless narinyanga mugayo it means i didn't need jesus muyane magambo nago narinyene yesu even is about the righteousness kuko jewe narinyira by the law kuko jewe nakiranuka gakwitegeko ryose now see after his eyes open no na maso yamaze guhweza remember before his eyes open uva mwibuke ibi biri bakuba physical eyes got got an issue mwibuke yuko yamaso yumwuka tarahumuka ayumubiri yaje guhura nakaga so he said some say but hajira uvuga ngo ariko but what things were gained to me nyamari byari ndamuyanje those i counted loss nabitekereje ko ari gihombo those i counted loss nabitekereje ko ari gihombo mare koza why those for christ kubga christo next verse moronkurikira said yeah doubtless i counted all things but a loss for excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my lord for whom i have suffered the loss for whom i have suffered the loss for all of us and to count them but then that i may win Christ ndetse bintu byose mbitekereza ko ari gihombo kuko ubutunzi butagira akagero ariko bwo kumenya Kristo Yesu kubguwo naho mbi kubguwo kubguwo naho ndi byanje ndetse mbitekereza ko ari amashe kugenda bonke muziki ya Rwanda bavuze ngo ngo kubgu butunzi butagira kagira remember what Paul say Paul aravuga that when the eyes of understanding open ya maso yo guheza ya chingutse the riches uzamenya ubutunzi ingano y'ubutunzi cyangwa ubwishi bw'ubutunzi so when paul the eyes are open now so paul amaso yahumutse now we say paul aravuga i counted everything to be lost to ibi byose byamindukiye gihombo kubwo ubutunzi because of the riches because when your spiritual eyes open ya maso yawe yumwuka yahumutse money is nothing amafaranga abigihombo houses are nothing usanga ya mazumeza nayo ari gihombo that was poor sit down a little bit richard tala so pralela zala de go i want to give you an example on a man called moses rekaba urugero rw'umugabo witwa mose when moses was born mose avutse he encountered persecution yaje gura ni totezwa there was a persecution and killing of sons in egypt hari totezwa ryo kwica abana biminja bubwoko bwa heburayo bavuka moses was rescued and uh, raised up from the palace aza gutoragurwa rahishwa aza gukurira mu bikari by'ubwana 
He ate the food of the palace. He was raised on the milk. Not mixed of the water. He went to the best schools. He went to the best schools. I am sure those schools have this title like a loyal secondary school or something. You must Every school Moses went has a royal on it. Because he was a son of a daughter of Pharaoh. When you read in the book of Hebrew, before going in the book of Hebrew, Exodus chapter 2 when you read the Moses' story something happened one day he went to the field and he found an Egyptian beating uh, and uh, the Egyptian killed an Israel and then he buried him uh, they, they were fighting so Moses killed an Egyptian and he buried him in the sun and then the Bible says he learned away that is how the story says he went to another place but when you read in the book of Hebrew, they actually explain what happened. Give me Hebrew chapter 11, verse 24. See the right thing that happened to Moses. But you say, by faith, Moses, when he was come to Yaz, refused to be called a son of Pharaoh's daughter. Wait. In the age of that, they don't show us this. That Moses refused. So, there was a power that was sending Moses. It was, it was pushing Moses to do whatever he did. And I was it was by faith that when Moses came to Yas, that, that word Yas is maturity. To, he came to maturity. And when you go to Hebrew, they talk about when he understood. Because in Hebrew, maturity is not Yas. It is understanding. understanding. The Bible says he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Why? Next verse. Next verse. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than enjoying the pressures of sin for a season. Next verse. Next verse. What, was, so what Moses saw here, esteeming the reproach of Christ. Greater riches than the treasures in oh, Egypt. For he had respect into the recompense of the reward. See ya. Moses, Moses saw Jesus. Yabonye Christo. The reason why he went and killed an Egyptian. The reason why he went on his donkey and 
goes away. Imamvu yagiye kwifarasha gahunga. People thought he was afraid. But he had he had made had made up his mind already. Why? He came to the maturity. His eyes opened. The Bible says he saw Christ. Then because of seeing Christ. He said I'm no longer comfortable with that bed. It is a royal bed. But I'm not comfortable anymore. It is a royal dining. But I'm no longer comfortable with it. I am respected in Egypt. But I'm no longer interested. Moses, why? Moses, why? You are a royal prince. You actually, Moses had a, a chance to be the next king. Moses yarafita mahirwe yo kuzaba umwami ukusimbura farao. Bale bayo bose. Ako bibiri yavuga. Estimating the reproach of Christ. Ngo amaze gusobanukirwa Christ. Greater riches than the treasures in which abirutisha ibyubutunzi. Because So Moses learning going to 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 Midian. Moses yirukaje mabidian. And becoming a servant to his father-in-law, it was not fear of Egyptian. He saw something. That why he didn't need to go to Canaan. That is why. He didn't need to go to Canaan. He was not interested to come. He saw Jesus. He saw Jesus. And then he said, As Aranjaravuga, God will send you. Will send you another prophet. Who is like me. Deuteronomy 18 18. Give me that scripture. About, about to finish. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. Like and I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them. All that I shall command him. Next verse. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which is shall speak in my name, I will require it to of him. Moses. He's saying, for me you quarrel. Hey, God I did not call you. You are not called. We are dying here. He said, now God is raising another prophet. That one, if you don't listen to him, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. So which prophet that Moses was talking to? When you read the Bible, you see the life of Jesus and the life of Moses are the same. When Moses was born, there was a killing of boys. The same thing on Jesus. So, he went, he lived in Egypt in the palace. So Jesus had to go to Egypt also. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when you come seeing the life of Moses, look like the life of Jesus. That's why in Philippians chapter 2, verse 6, the Bible says like this. 
Philippians chapter 2 verse 6 who being in the form of God even though Moses was in the palace even though he was like a king of naho yarameze nk'umwana say bibiravuga so it not robbery to be equal with God ngo niyatekereje yuko guhwana n'Imana ari ikintu cyo kugundira Moses did not think that being a son of Pharaoh is something to hold Moses nabo yigeze abona kubukwitwa umwana wa Pharaoh ari ikintu cyo ya this is Jesus that talking about Jesus here. But I'm connecting his life with Moses. And the Bible says, but made himself of no reputation. This is Jesus they are talking about. Remember Moses. He had a reputation of being a son of King. Now, he made himself with no reputation. He became a servant of his father in law. Which is an abomination in Rwanda. So he made himself with no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant. And was made Sorry. in the likeness of man. Sorry. After that, what happened? Verse. And being found in fashion of a man. He, he, has has a a he humbled himself. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Don't wait for things to humble you. Everything about humbling is humbling yourself. Everything about humility is humbling yourself. Muri buri kimwe cyose kigucisha bugufi ariko icyo cyo gucisha bugufi ashaka kuvuga hano nuko kubaha imana iyo ataruko kubaha imana ubundi ucishwa bugufi n'imibedo be he humbled himself and became obedient yicisha bugufi araganduka unto death ni yanga no gupfa even the death of the cross ndetse no rupfu rwo kumusaraba then after that nyuma ya this is what happened next verse mve byabaye therefore God also has highly exalted him. And give him a name which is above every name. So it means when the eyes of understanding open there is a form of embarrassment in the eyes of people Jesus yes. humbled himself took the form of a man and a servant Remember, he even died the death of the cross Tell your neighbor that was not the end. That wasn't the end. After humbling himself, the Bible says then God exalted him and gave him a name above every other name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moses, after Moses has humbled himself, when he returned, he didn't go back as the son of Pharaoh. God told him, today, which is I, man, I make you God before Pharaoh. He did, he did not go back as a prodigal son. No, he went as God. When the eyes of understanding opened, there is a, 
a, a period of being like you you don't understand anything ugera mu gihe cyaho usa nkaho nta kintu wumva usobanukirwa but after ariko nyuma it is when the greater glory start rising nibwo icyubahero cyanyuma gitangira kuzamba because you understand the riches nibwo bwiza butangira kugaragara kuko wasobanukiye ubutunzi say amen hallelujah ngo amen you can't understand your purpose before your eyes of understanding open dushobora kumenya guhamarwa kwa cyangwa se impamvu yo kwawe amaso y'umwuka wa batarahumu so for us what is our glory kuri twebwe ubwiza ni cyangwa icyubahiro i finish from this scripture ndasoreza kuri iki cyanditswe what is our glory icyubahiro cyacu ni iki when our eyes open what is the glory that comes to us iya amaso yacu y'umwuka humutse ni icyubahiro kiki tubona and tonight you are about to see it in the name of Jesus. Muri uyu mugoroba nibwo mugiye kukibona mu izina rya Yesu. You are going to see it in Jesus name. Murakibona mu izina rya Yesu. Maye ko sararara somebody go to keyboard please. Aba umuntu ari kuri keyboard agumeho. John chapter 7 verse 38. Yohana karindwi 38 I want to show you the glory of God upon your life when your eyes are open. Ndashaka kwereka uburyo icyubahiro cy'Imana kigaragara ku buzima bwawe iya maso y'umwuka yahumutse. I want to show you the mandate of God concerning your life. Ndashaka kukwereka umugambi w'Imana ku buzima bwawe. And I pray that you be ready for it. Kandi asaba kugira ngo ubyitegure. He said, aravuga, he that believeth on me. Unyizera wese. As the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water this is what happened after your eyes are open this is what happened after your eyes the glory of God is not driving a retest car. It is not building a retest house in the kingdom. God, God is in the business of looking some people to do it things with. God want, want to partner with you to do something. When your eyes are open, you understand that God wants you to be his partner to supply life in the world. That's what Jesus said. Those who believe in me, as the word said, as the scriptures say that the liver of the living water are going to flow from the berry of those who believe in me. God is looking for somebody tonight. Not to give, not not just to give you money. He want to, he want somebody. We send you some mafaranga. That he will get money through. God doesn't want to give you money. But he wants to take money through you. He doesn't want to give you a car. But he wants to give cars through you. He says, whoever believes in me, the rivers of the living water. I want you to shake to your neighbor. I want to tell you, tell your neighbor, you are the supplier. You are the supplier. You are the supplier. You are the supplier. That is the plan of God on your life. God wants you to be ready. Tell God, my eyes have seen. I don't need a house. I don't need a car. I don't need money. I have tried. I don't need a job. I don't need a job. I need to be a job creator and giver. I don't need money. I need to give money. Because the Bible says, those who believe in Him, touch on your belly like this. 
out of your burying munda yawe bivuye munda yawe hazatemba livers images let me tell you about something about liver leka babwire ku images liver nile umugezi witwa nile keep standing the bible say egypt it is the gift of liver nile uba baravuga ngo egypta yagize imana ikomeye kubera umugezi wa nile Egypt cannot live without na liver. Uya ni magambo nago Egypt yabaho ubuzima bwiza idafite umugezi wa Nile. Without Nile there is no Egypt. Hatariho Nile na Egypt hari. And that is a liver. Wonu umugezi. Just one liver. Umugezi umwe wonye. The secret of a liver. Ibanga ry'umugezi. Liver umugezi has a source. Ubufite inkomoko. Praise the Lord. Every river have a source. Buri mugezi wose ubufite inkomoko. And every river kandi buri mugezi wose has a discipline ufite gahunda of supplying its water in the big seas. Yo kujana amazi kayasuka mu nyanja nini. One of the secret of one of the secret of rivers bimwe mu mabanga ya majimijezi that it cannot allow the liver to dry nagit umugezi nujya ukama because it supplies every time kubera yuko ni uvomerera ibindi just because of that law of supplying in the sea kubera yo shinga no yayi ifite yo yo guso yo kuvomerera kuzuza handi to put it what even it is small kandi urebe ni small water chan but it gives the sea and ocean ni usuka mu biyaga ni binyanja binini cha and the sea cannot give the, the river can this river nyanja nako dusuka mu mugezi because the river has its source kuko mugezi ufite inkomoko when the bible say whoever believes in me iyo bibiri ivuga ngo uzinyizera wese it means you have connected to the source ubo ufite isoko akata so from that day the rivers nuko rero not one river imigezi nagara umugezi umwe because you have the source kubera ufite inkomoko god is your source imana ndiyo nkomoko yawe ko i am seeing some people here who are ready ndimo ndabona abantu hano i am seeing people who are ready ndabona abantu biteguye you start supplying utangira gusuka out of your berry bivuye mu nda yawe shaflo rivers uratanga shaflo rivers it's tanga imigezi the rivers of living water imigezi ya mazi ubugingo my god my god my god your family is waiting for you um imuryango uragutegereje your nation is waiting for you igihugu kiragutegereje the world is waiting for you isi ragutegereje don't despise yourself lose your suzugure that you are small kuri muto out of your berry haga munda yawe the flower is as avamwe imigezi makata keta keta out of your berry bivuye munda yawe shaflo rivers azava mu imigezi the river of life imigezi y'ubugingo the river of hope imigezi y'ibyiringiro the river of peace imigezi y'amahoro somebody say hallelujah kuga ngo hallelujah otake sori makadeza i don't know if there is somebody who is ready now sizi ni bari umuntu witeguye hano your eyes are going to open amaso ya wagiye guhumuka i am telling you what i've been praying for icyo nasengeraga is very small chini gito cyane there is another thing ari kwa richindi that is needed icyo nari nyene your spiritual eyes to be open no kugira ngo amaso ya wahumuka and then after that nyuma yaho you understand usobanukirwe that the world you kiss is going to survive because of you isizabaho kubera wowe that's why just when was, he said you are the soul of the world niyo mpamvu avuga ngo uri umunyu wiki wisi any family can survive without sugar umuryango wabaho udafite isukari but not without salt ariko ntago wapfa kurambu udafite umunyu god has made you something imana yakugize ikintu he want you to partner with him irashaka gukorana na paul said paul aravuga yaravuze ngo ubwo dukorana nayo now that we are partners with the crew ubwo dukorana nayo now that we are partners with the crew ndinga kubwimbabazi zima we beseech you by the masses of god ubwo nubwimana kupfusha ubusa that don't misuse the grace of god kupfusha ubusa ubuntu bw'imana barabizi dino misusing the grace of god kuba kuba ceo 
God called you to be the CEO. And you are still holding the file applying for the, the officer job. He says, now that we walk with him, we beseech you by the mercies of God that you don't misuse that grace. Shake your neighbor and tell him, I work with I him. I am a partner with God. Well, I am a partner with God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going to pray. God doesn't need millionaires. There are millionaires who don't know God. But he wants people to partner with. People who are ready to partner with God. He wants to be your source. He wants to be your source. But for you, you think your degree is your source. You think your family is your source. You think your husband is your source. When your eyes open, you connect to the right source. You connect to the right source. And then from that day, where you no longer ask money. You start to give money Why? because you are now livers. Out of my berry shall flow livers, livers of living water. Praise the Lord. In a few minutes, something is happening on your life. The light is just going to go on like and then you understand the riches. You understand the riches. Somebody start praying. 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 Somebody